Hello campers, this is Jeff Lemon at M60 RV in Jones, Michigan. Just want to give you a look at this retro model by Riverside RV in LaGrange, Indiana. Locally made, family owned. These are nice solid little trailers. This is uh, capturing the retro market. You see the, the styling, the coloration reminds you of an old Chevy from the 50s. You could almost hear the music, right? So up front here, we've got this diamond plate to guard against uh, rocks flying up and chipping your finish. This does have a power tongue jack with a light for when you're camping, when you're parking at night. It's got two 20 gallon LP tanks. Spot for at least two batteries. Here's a Furion solar charger port. That's a kind of a standalone suitcase size deal. Just to keep your batteries topped up. See this cool retro logo. It's just really neat styling on this. And I happen to know they're just nice, friendly people too to work with. This is the front compartment. You can see it's all trimmed out in wood. It's it's nice looking. Plenty of room for lots of stuff for your camping adventures. So here's the side of the slide out. Let me show you the roof real quick. Check out these hubcaps and the very wide white wall tires that come with it. It's a really, really cool look to it. Here's your dump station under here. Gray for the gray water, black for the black water. You've got a uh, black tank flush here. You've got a gravity fill for your water and you have a city water connection. So in case you don't know, this is for just dumping water in with a hose or uh, in some kind of container. This is actually pressurized water coming into here. So when you have it hooked up to city water, you're using the provided pressure to uh, run it through the system. If you're putting it in your tank, then you're going to use your water pump. And because you're going to be camping in a lot of different places, we do recommend getting a check valve. It's a little brass fitting that goes on here that shuts off when it goes over a certain uh, pressure so it doesn't you know, accidentally harm your pipes. Here's your uh, connection for your electricity, for your 110 power. You see it is sealed in here so little ants don't find their way inside of your coach. This light comes on when you have power coming in. This is for if the campground you're at supplies cable, that's the input right there. All on this side, on the non-camping side. It does have manual stabilizers. Now those don't lift the coach, you get it level, then you put those down and it keeps it from rocking and rolling when you're walking around in it. And a view of the back here, you can see it has a radius roof. It does have rain gutters to pour the water away from your RV. Here's your water heater. You do have an outside shower for rinsing the kids' feet, feet off before they go in. Go tracking grass or washing the dog, washing pots and pans when you're outside at your outside kitchen. How cool is that? And it does have a little area to uh, store stuff for when you're cooking. Underneath here is a griddle that flips over. Well, let me show you. So this comes open here. That flips over. 
just like that. <clears throat> your gas hose connects here to your quick connect. And this whole surface becomes a cooking area for bacon and eggs. And can you imagine? I'm getting hungry. I'm sorry if I'm making you hungry. And then this, uh, you can take it off and scrub it good or you can run it through the dishwasher. And then when this, when you're done with this, you'd flip it over. Just like that. Goes back in here. And locks like that. And this is key to like, the same key as the door goes here because you got those uh, less expensive 751 keys. They're sort of generic. A lot of times that's what will be on the lock on uh, compartment doors. And this is a lot more secure because it's the same lock as on your entry door. Same with all the compartments on this. This is the back of your refrigerator. You can see up here, you do have an, an electric awning. And cool, check out that cool patio light all the way across there. Now that's going to make a nice, soft, non-harsh glow as you're sitting out under your awning at night, enjoying the great outdoors. This is the Riverside RV Retro 240BH. What's BH stand for? Bunkhouse. What a lot of people are looking for is a bunkhouse. Just give you a look around in here. So we'll start here. We've got nice big deep sink, stainless steel, the pull-out sprayer. This wood is a beautiful kind of a blonde. And that's wood. And that's wood. You got your microwave, you got your cooktop. It does light up. This has kind of a little a little tooth system here, so that keeps it from rattling. A little rubber tooth. This becomes your backsplash, and then you have three burners for cooking food inside here. You do have a fan and a light. Ample cooking area for being out in the great outdoors. Not too bad. So then right here we have our uh, gas electric Dometic refrigerator. Here's the adjustment. You turn it to gas or electric. And it's already cold. You stay cold a long time. It's got an insert here, this wood that matches the wood of the rest of the coach, kind of that blonde. Looks like a looks like a maple, I think. And here's the BH. So here's the bunkhouse. Depending on how you stack them, you could get, you get four people in there. Here's your bathroom. As you can see, it does have a foot flush toilet. It's got a small tub that'd be good for grandkids or little kids. A skylight to net, let natural light into your shower area. It does have a fantastic fan. And some storage for your toiletries. A couple of pretty big cabinets here. And as you can see, the valances and the cushions are the same color scheme as the outside of the coach. That kind of 1950s diner, 1950s Chevy, you know, muscle car type look. This is a slide out. You can see anywhere there's that molding that covers the hole. That's where the slide goes out. Here's your controls for your furnace and AC. And then here we have a spot that you could put a television if you wanted. 
hooks up right here. This does come uh, does come with a Furion uh, stereo. But you can have it inside or outside, or inside and outside, with these zones here. Nice light wood, really brightens it up in here. Got two hanging shirt closets. Got little alcoves in the back at the head of the bed. You can always put books, flashlight, bear spray. You can charge your phone either side. It's got USB. On either side it's got 110 power and two USBs so you can charge all your devices back here. Up front you've got a uh, an opening that you could put a fan in but it is just it, it just opens and has a vent and then two doors on either side. Right there is your emergency exit. Hope you never ever need it but it's quick. It just opens up but it's quick to open. Just lift that handle, push it through for normal use and for an emergency, just keep pushing it through and that'll flop right open. You can get out there. Again, I hope you never ever need that. So again, that was the Riverside RV Retro. 240 BH for bunkhouse. Simple, beautiful styling. Kind of a 1950s diner feel when you're out in the great outdoors and you're feeling nostalgic. And again, we're M60 RV in Jones, Michigan. We just opened up recently and we're ready to help you find the great outdoors for less. So you can come in as strangers and leave as friends. My name is Jeff. You can reach us here at 269-707-9220 or you can email us at sales at m60rv.com. Thanks for watching.